Lucy. Hey, so I'm here with my friend Katie. <laughs> yeah. um, so there's something special happening here on Lincoln Road. Um, Katie has been key masterpiece of this whole operation. Let me tell you what it is. So Lincoln Road, we work Lincoln Road is now composting trash that is going to be used in the Miami Beach Botanical Garden. Correct me if I'm wrong. No, you're so, right. You're so far, so good. good. <laughs> uh, so I wanted to make this video to try to figure out, explain what this means, what compost is, and how we can be better about the environment. So far, so good. <laughs> yeah, okay, okay. okay. First of all, um, to somebody who has never understood, maybe to a couple of kids, what is compost? Sure. Compost is like it's very hard to describe. It's very it means very many like many things. So, compost, simply put, is taking old food waste, food scraps, um, and turning it into nutrient rich soil that you can replenish the earth with in like a very natural way. Um, so you're not using any fertilizers or pesticides, essentially using trash or waste. Okay. Um, and it goes through the process of decomposition and then eventually is just full of nutrients and um, they actually use all the compost we produce at the garden. <laughs> Once it is soil, they use all the soil in the garden, in the nursery to, you know, feed their plants and um, the garden is thriving. It's very beautiful. So. That's amazing. <laughs> Okay, well, tell me what you're doing right now. Well, this is just, I was just going to show you. This is Cassidy. Cassidy used to be an architect. Now he's our local farmer, pretty much. Isn't that awesome? This is where the community of people drop off. Oh, okay. So they drop off their waste here, and then they put a little bit of the wood chips on it. And so it, it then, you know, people drop off for free. Okay. And then I unload it. Uh, I unload it into these. So this is the um, the newest. So this one got filled up about two days ago, and it is growing. So this is a very full, young pile. And basically what's happening is the microorganisms are going after the most easily available uh, nutrient. Okay. Non-lignin or cellulose. How long does this process usually take? The process for getting like the easy nutrient, not very long at all. I mean, in good composting conditions, it can be pretty quick. So let's say I go to eat out and then I come back here. I'm sort of finished. I, you know, 75% of my Peruvian rice is done. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me what can be composed and what can now be composed and what to figure out when I'm going. Because um, I'm going to show you guys the trash, like setup that is here in a second, but what can be composed, mm -hmm. I guess? So you can compost anything that's not fish, dairy, or meat. Okay. Um, so, or, or plastic, of mm -hmm. course, but uh, currently those are the only things we don't accept. Mm -hmm. um, there are some compost facilities, however, that do compost those things. Mm -hmm. um, it tends to be more like the commercial grade, higher, bigger facilities. Okay. Um, but for our pilot program, we just don't accept those like three main things. So basically animal products, uh, what about milk and things like that? Oh, no milk. No milk. Um, so. Yeah, it's, it gets tricky with dairy based yeah. on like, because everything decomposes differently, right? right, right. So, um, you know, 
a lot of kids come to the garden, a lot of people are around the compost hub, mm -hmm. um, which is basically like the big trash <laughs> pile. <laughs> so I'm good because I'm vegetarian, but I guess like if somebody's eating rice and then has some meat and has some stuff, they have to like set it up. Yeah, and then... it is like a little bit of an extra step. Um, but I think we're challenging people to be conscious when they're, you know, disposing of their waste. Mm -hmm. um, I think somewhere along the way we lost touch of that um, connection to nature and that we just throw things away and like poof, it magically disappears. Yeah. But, like where is it going? You know, how's it getting there? And so it's, it's really cool to finally be in touch with that and like when I'm disposing of things I know that my compost is going to the botanical garden turning into soil and then being used to like replenish all the plants. And what's cool is like you can go to check out the plants that came out of your waste. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is really cool. Which I think is hilarious, it's awesome. Um, okay, I know this pilot program is right now on Lincoln Road. Mm -hmm. So tell me a little bit, I know you guys are having plans to aggressive expansion. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys are planning to do in other WeWorks maybe, or how does that work? Yeah, so our first location um, started in uh, March, mm -hmm. and then Lincoln Road has been composting since beginning of May. Um, and now that we have both the beach locations composting, um, I'm hoping to go to the mainland to you know other WeWorks, um, potentially other businesses uh, and just see kind of where it, the road takes us. <laughs> awesome. Okay, one last question. Uh, obviously, I'm going to finish this video and this will be like a piece of information, but where can other people find you or mm -hmm. find more information about composting websites or Instagrams? Or, yeah. yeah. Um, so you can always find me at the community bar or front desk at WeWork. <laughs> um, or on Saturdays, I try to spend my mornings at the Botanical Garden. Um, so it's actually kind of like an open um, like time mm -hmm. to go and learn about the compost hub you can go bring your compost if you have some from home. Um, there's a little drop-off, uh, it's not really a bin, but a drop-off area um, that you can drop off there. Uh, I personally bring my compost from home to work and then just dump it in our collection area. Um, but yeah. Okay, those, cool. Those is <laughs> Thank you so much for your help. Her Instagram is, I'll put it somewhere here when I Google it afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> and. Uh, yeah, hopefully you get into composting and it'll be so exciting. <laughs> <laughs> Yay.